Good afternoon, church family. Thank you for joining with us today for our weekday family devotions. Congratulations. It's Friday. You made it to the end of another week. Let's go ahead and pray together and ask God to bless our time here as we gather around his word uh, for devotion. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day you've given us here. We thank you for the week, Lord. We thank you for the many blessings. We thank you that you're a God who hears and answers prayer. And Lord, in this moment, we ask that you would help us as we come to the word of God that we would understand with simplicity what you're saying, and, and Father, that you may lead us on and help us uh, to know and do your will. And Father, our prayer is that you would send revival to our hearts and to our individual Christian lives, our homes, this church, uh, for that matter, and, and God, that you do a, a mighty work, and a work that only you can receive glory from. But Father, we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome again to our weekday family devotions. Let's take our Bibles and turn together to the New Testament book of James, James chapter 5. There'll be two verses here today, verses 7 and 8, James 5, 7 and 8. The Bible says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long uh, patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. The Bible says, Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts. Notice, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Would you mark that statement in the Word of God? For the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Christians, Jesus is coming again. Why has he not? Well, we're very close to 2 Peter. Turn over a couple pages uh, to 2 Peter uh, chapter number 3. And uh, certainly in verse 9, the Bible says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward. Note that he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The only reason Jesus hasn't returned yet is because he's still waiting for people to place their faith in him. But regardless, he's coming. And uh, there's no question about it. And as we look back, in verses 7 and 8 of James chapter 5, the Bible says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Now, be patient, endure, uh, continue living for God. Don't worry about what other people are doing. There's a lot of distractions in the world today, politically, geopolitically, uh, economically. Uh, there's so much social unrest and uncertainty. Uh, there's so many things that are working contrary to the Lord and the things that are working contrary to the local church. But Christian, understand that God is still on his throne. Jesus is still the king, and, he's, and his promise is just as certain today as it was 2,000 years ago when he spoke it audibly uh, to his disciples there. Uh, but, and, 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 then, and then in eternity past, when God... Uh, cried it into his word, you know, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Christian, understand that Jesus is in charge. He's on the throne. Don't allow your heart to be discouraged. Uh, don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed or overcome by the things that, uh, that surround us in life. The Bible says, be patient, therefore, brethren, under the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it. Jesus is the husbandman. Uh, and uh, he has patience until he receive the early and rat latter rain. He's, there are still, like I said, there are still souls that will place their faith in Christ. He says, be ye also patient. And then notice, establish your hearts. Christians, we want to be established or established uh, in uh, if you'll turn back to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Lord speaks concerning His second coming in, 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 in chapter number, uh, I'm sorry, in chapter 15 of 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. The Bible says, But thanks be unto God, in verse 57, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as, uh, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Uh, be steadfast, establish your hearts. In other words, be convinced that God's word is true, 
in Romans, the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. So understand the truth of God's word, apply your heart to know it, to understand it, to apply it, and may God help us live faithfully for him in the in light of his coming. Uh, Christian, how do you want the Lord to find you? He's, he's coming. He said, behold, I come quickly, right? In, in Revelation chapter 21, he's coming soon. And remember one day is with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is a day. But, but it makes no difference. Jesus is coming back. May God help us serve him faithfully for such a time as this. And uh, so uh, establish your hearts. Be patient. Keep serving the Lord. Don't let up. Keep, your, keep the pedal to the metal. And keep trusting Jesus. And look forward to that day when our faith becomes sight. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word of God today. And our prayer is that you would help us to, to know and understand and apply the scriptures. Lord, may, may you help us to uh, be obedient to the things of God. And, oh Lord, that we would live with the proper perspective. Oh Lord, that we would be patient, that we would continue in spite of all the things that are going on around us. That we would not be discouraged uh, from our main objective, which is to, to bring other people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, may you help us be established in our hearts uh, concerning the truth of the word of God deep-rooted convictions, Lord, uh, upon which we can stand. But Father, we love you. We pray for your blessing on the rest of this day. Lord, may you give us a great you know, weekend and a wonderful Lord's Day. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you, for so, uh, thank you so much for being here today. It's an honor to have you. Lord willing, we'll see you Sunday right here in person, uh, 1045, right here at Pickerington Baptist Temple. May God bless you. We're praying for you. And Lord willing, we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.